Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be discussing my DE Shaw SD2 interview experience in detail. So for those of you who are not aware, DE Shaw is a big hedge fund or investment firm. They do a lot of algorithmic trading and that is where the engineering expertise come into picture. They hire computer engineers for developing and maintaining these sophisticated systems and infrastructure. Apart from this, there are a lot of engineers and teams working on internal tools and platforms as well. Surprisingly, they also have a subsidiary named D. Shaw Research, which is a biochemistry research company. And since they use a lot of technology and computational methods for the research, they hire engineers for this subsidiary as well. So I was offered the senior member of technical staff DTEC role. So it was basically SMTS DTEC. DTEC implies that I would be required to work with one of their trading teams to maintain and develop platforms and infrastructure. This might involve developing platforms for trading, reporting, analysis, statistics, or applying data science for analysis or security stuff. So the tech stack used by the team is Spring for backend and React and Redux for frontend. So tech stack is very team specific. There are teams using Python, Golang and different frameworks for their specific use cases. Moving on to the interview experience, DE Shaw has a well-rounded interview experience and they focus on a lot of different areas and not just DSA. But like any other company, they do also ask DSA questions. So you would have to prepare DSA. I would recommend solving medium and hard level questions on lead code. A lot of questions that they ask are directly picked from Geeks for Geeks. Practicing on lead code would be sufficient though for solving the questions irrespective of the fact that whether you have seen those questions before or not. So apart from DSA, so DSA is one thing and apart from that I would also recommend you to revise object oriented programming, operating systems and DBMS. So you can use the cheat sheets available on Geeks for Geeks for these core subjects. Those cheat sheets are really good and do practice SQL as well. You will definitely be asked to write a query in at least one of the rounds. And so I'll also add SQL here. Then HLD and LLD is standard. So HLD and LLD, which is basically system design. So HLD and LLD mostly come with experience. So there are some great books that might be helpful, like grokking the system design or design patterns and all. So I will add some links in the description. And these books are really informative and good. And in case if you're not into reading books, I'll add some good resources in the description as well. DE Shaw unfortunately also asks a lot of language or framework specific questions. If you have mentioned it in your resume or you graded yourself proficient in the online application. Now, according to me, asking language specific questions is kind of a waste because there are a lot of language specific complexities that we do not encounter in day to day programming. And we might not know about these and we might not actually have a need to know about it. But it is very easy to come up with questions on these complexities and then the candidate might not be able to answer them. But that does not prove anything. Uh, but it is what it is. So do take a refresher on Java or C++, preferably Java. Also be thorough with your resume. Do not mention anything that you haven't actually done or you won't be able to discuss in detail in the interviews. So in terms of rounds, the first is an online assessment that was skipped for me. Next is a qualifier round. My qualifier round was system design, which is a bit strange. And I had to solve a HLD question in system design. The question was not tough and it was a regular HLD round. Next round was round one where I was asked two coding questions. So first question was a medium level array based question. So I initially solved it using DB, but it had to be solved using a sliding window approach because that sliding window approach gave a better time complexity as compared to the DP solution. Second question was a hard level question on binary trees. Basically the question was to do a level order traversal without using any extra space or helper space. Uh, the interviewer also asked a lot of Spring and Java specific questions. So this included questions on strings, maps, heap memory in Java, etc. And finally, he asked me to write a SQL query. So query was not that tough. I just had to use group by and having clauses. Next round, I was given a binary search based problem. The level was somewhere between medium and hard. In this problem, I had to identify a range of answers and do a binary search in the range to find the most optimum answer. 
so this is a very famous application of binary search actually uh, aggressive cows is a very famous problem which is solved in a similar manner so post this question there were spring and java framework specific questions this included maps annotations auto wiring garbage collection related questions and i was also asked to explain one of my projects on my resume and post these rounds there were some behavioral and hiring manager discussions so this sums up my interview experience with disha in case you are preparing for disha i hope you'll find this video helpful in case you have any more questions or queries feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and thanks for watching take care bye bye